Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Edwin Hong, one of the elders here at New City Church. Thanks for joining us this morning. Hey, I'm so excited because this morning we're having a ministry fair here at New City. The ministry fair is an opportunity for you to visit all the different ministries here at New City. An opportunity to sign up and volunteer because we love our volunteer base. Now in 1 Peter, it talks about that God gives us specific gifts. And we can use that gift to serve one another. And what an awesome time and environment for us to use our giftings here to learn about our giftings and be able to volunteer in different areas within the church because we love our volunteers and we need our volunteers this morning. So what's going to happen is we're going to actually go to the ministry fair. I'm going to get interview the different ministry leaders of the different ministry fairs so you can learn about the different ministry here under the roof at New City. So are you ready to come with me? And I want to give a shout out to Sharon Smith. She is doing the filming for us. So we're excited about that. So come with us. Let's go. And we have Matt McFarlane here. Say hi, Matt. All right. So one of our first ministries here is missions. We have a, 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 a neat, we support a lot of missions, both the, here domestically as well as internationally. And we know there are people that have a heart for missions, that they dedicate their lives to the mission field to just show people God's love and tell people about Jesus. Now we support missionaries around the world. So if you have a heart for missions, sign up for the ministry fair. And I know Matt was here a second ago, so if you want more information, please talk to Matt McFarland. And as you can see on the board, the different missions we support. So if you have a heart for missions, uh, please sign up uh, at the link after this video. That is awesome. Next in the line, we have Drop In Ministry. Uh, we have a really good relationship with Drop In Ministry, and this is Etika. Hey, how you doing, Erica? Hey, hey. Hey, uh, hey, yeah. want to tell us really quick about Drop-In Ministry? Yeah, of course. Uh, Drop-In is, we sell a store, you donate your gift, we sell it in the, here in the, in the city, and then 60% stay here, and 40% go overseas. 60% will have been a lot of schools, we are, so we are working really hard, and what do we need? We need donations, obviously. Okay. Go and buy donation as well. And we need uh, volunteers to go and help the store. And we need men for food. Awesome. We need muscles. Thank you. And the drop in stores on J Avenue. And like Erica yeah. said, she needs help with uh, the men of store to help uh, organize the store, to men to lift heavy things. So, if you got any things you want to donate, drop it off at like, drop in. Uh, the world. Thanks, Erica. Thank you later. All right, this is exciting. Stay with me, folks. Next, we have the Rock Ministry, the Rock Center. Hey, wait a minute. Here is Mr. Rod Gillis. Hey, Rod, how you doing? Hey. Hey, hey guys. Bless you guys. Hey, please get registered. <laughs> and that is George, that one of my elders here. Isn't this exciting? This is so exciting. The buzz that's going on here in the okay. room, and we want all of you. To connect. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so next is the Rock Center, which means renew our city, and this is close and dear to our hearts at New City. So, how you doing? Hey, good. How are you? So, give us a quick uh, rundown about the Rock Center and what kind of volunteers we need. Okay, so we are looking to renew our our city, and some of the opportunities we have right now are. Awesome. So if you have a heart for the city and heart for local ministry, sign up with the Rock. Again, they're close and dear to, to a new city church, and we want to renew our city. So sign up. Awesome. All right. Let's do our next one. So, next up, we have our Friends Ministry. Friends, friends, amigo, friends. So the important thing about Friends Group is that, especially after the COVID, we need relationships. We need to know people, meet people, and have that face-to-face. -face. So, if you, if you want to meet new friends, develop new relationships, new accountability, 
come and sign up uh, with Didi right here. So, tell us really quick about Friends with Ministry and what launch you're looking for. Awesome. Well, thank you. And look at look at all this chocolate here. When you see chocolate, you know it's a great ministry to get involved with. Thanks, Dini. Awesome. So again, use the time to make any notes. If there's something you want to get interested at the end of the video, there's going to be a place for you to check off where you want to get involved with. So as you look through this, if you have more questions, let us know as well. Rob right here is standing right here. Right now we have the Transportation Ministry, Action Information Center, and Greeters. This is really the front line ministry here at New City because we're meeting people at the door, help, helping them at the Information Center, picking them up to come to service. So the frontliners are important because they really, the first impression about the New City Church and how we love people, this is it. Hey, this is how you doing? Good. Hey, tell us a little bit. What are, what are some of the opportunities you need for uh, for your ministry here? Well, I'm first we have the ushers. First we have the ushers, and I don't have to sign up again. First we have the ushers, and that's what we So people are coming to the sanctuary, and make sure that everything is covered good. And Business at New City, you see Linda almost every Sunday at the front door with a smile greeting people because we want to make sure every person that walks through our door you see that they feel the love, the New City love. So thanks you guys, you guys are awesome. Hey, let's go. All right, now Michelle here, Michelle is awesome, she's part of guest reception. So you might wonder what's guest reception. Right? You see all the goodies here? For every new person visiting New City, they get a, a free gift. They get a coffee mug, and as well as goodies in the mug. And um, Michelle, tell us some of the volunteers you'll need for your uh, reception. Just need help putting these together. So okay. they don't have to pass them out. They don't have to do anything. They can actually All right. So if, if you're kind of crafty, you like to uh, create things and put stuff together, because, you know, God is about creativity. So sign up with Michelle and you know help her out and put these awesome uh, welcome gifts for our guests. All right, thanks, Michelle. Next, we have a safety team. Are you ready? Good, yeah, yeah, yeah. good. So tell us a little bit about the safety team. So the safety team we're responsible for making sure the safety and security of the church is properly maintained, and that that covers everything from weather related to a plan in place for. How you react if there's a fire, if there's a tornado, if there's a right. It covers that all the way down to active response. Uh, so it's, it's a broad spectrum. Um, we would welcome medical experience. We would welcome anybody who just is attending to what's going on in the building. Because that's kind of what is going on. Watching and Awesome, awesome. You know, I I feel safe for knowing that we're a safe team. They are so behind the scenes. It's a great team of people that just love and serve New City, so we appreciate them. So if you have a heart for safety, uh, sign up for uh, the safety team. Okay, next in line, we have a 10 house coffee. One of the awesome things when you come to our service in the morning, that we have free coffee. Our specialty coffee is you can buy. So Andrew and Emily, who, who's in charge of, of 10 house coffee, could appreciate some volunteers. And look at Look at all the goodies. So I'm going to take a bite of the donut while Andrew tells you about Tin House and the volunteers they need. Thank you. 
Jack to talk now? Yeah, talk now. Okay. Ten House Coffee is the coffee shop here at church. Um, all the money we make goes directly to drop in ministries. And we drop donuts too. What is this for? Is this live streaming? Quarter. Oh no. Hi, world. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. Andrew loves being on camera. Yeah, he does. It's the single worst thing that can happen to a person. <laughs> he does. And they make great coffee. So if you have a, if you're a, a barista, or love working people and help make some coffee, sign up for Tim's Coffee. Thanks, Andrew. You're awesome. All right, we're going to turn the corner here. Oh, I'm sorry. And, and um, Hello. one of the cool things about the ministry fair, I'm sorry you can try some questions, but there's so much uh, samples of food, and it's just exciting. So, next day, look at this, more food. This is the men's ministry. This is Anthony, he's my brother, and uh, he is leading the men's ministry, and, and he is uh, he's an awesome brother who has a heart to, for men to get together, for us to grow. So, Anthony, tell us a little bit about uh, the men's ministry and what kind of volunteers we need. We are looking for men to volunteer. And we're trying to do things different. We're going to encourage each other, build each other up, and also serve the city at the same time. So, we want men to sign up. We're not trying to sit here and teach you for days. We're just trying to get, encourage you to sign up and get involved. And love on each other. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks. And just really quick, the men got together this past week uh, for just a quick meal. What a great time of fellowship. And I'm talking to men out there. More so now, we need the, the brotherhood of men getting together, talk about each other's lives, and build each other up. More so now. So if you're interested, uh, sign up. Thanks, bro. Now, we don't want to leave the women behind, because women also need friends and, and to build that relationship and to get involved and encourage one another. So LaShonda here oversees the women's ministry in our team. So hey LaShonda, so tell us a little about the women's ministry and what kind of volunteers do you need? Oh, the women's ministry, we just like to get together, meet with each other, edify, lift one another up. So please sign up, come and get your information now so we can update any information, any outdated information. And I am looking for two fellowship coordinators, and that is just women who can um, just coordinate some activities that we can do just to meet with one another. And then an outreach coordinator, because I think it's important for us to be out and connecting with other women and, and uh, being able to help others. So that is what I'm looking for. Awesome, thank you. So if you have a heart in either one of those areas, again, I just want to remind you, take notes as we go through the different ministries, and at the end of the video, you'll get a uh, chance to click and sign up. Again, you're not committed to any ministry because this is, we're all about helping you find your giftings and knowing how to serve one another, and this opportunity for you to try different ministries. So, thanks for the passing on the food. All right. So next we have is the care ministry. Let me tell you about the care ministry. Oh, food ministry and the care ministry. Christmas day. Ah, so tell us a little bit about the kitchen ministry. I don't know where that came from. I walked in today and I was surprised. Right. He needs that. Right. That's awesome. This is so biblical because, you know, remember the Israelites in the desert, what do they want? They want food, right? And God provided manna. And this is a really a manna ministry to provide food for those in need. So thank you. All right. As we're walking down, we have the care ministry. Pastor Faye is in charge of care ministry. And let me tell you, she has a big heart. She loves people. And the care ministry is a, a, a doorway into people's hearts that Faye is a steward of this ministry. And it's an opportunity for her to pray with people and care for people. So Faye, Right? So 
Yeah. Hey, Miss Vicky. ministry is Jesus' heart, right? They love people. So yeah. thank you for all that you do. Miss Vicky, good to see you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you. All right. The rod is just like kind of following us. Hey! So what we have next, right, is the Next Gen ministry. Next Gen. It's amazing because here at New City, we have a huge part for the next generation. And uh, that covers the, from, the, from birth to high school, right? So this is Alyssa Stratton, our Next Gen pastor. So tell us a little bit about Next Gen and what kind of volunteers you have. Yeah. So like he said, we cover all the way from birth to 12th grade. And, and that's a large group to cover, so we certainly couldn't do without our volunteers. We've got Sunday morning service opportunities. Right now we're just second service, but we need some volunteers to help us expand the first service. Um, we've got our Wednesday night for kids. That program is needing volunteers. And we've got our Wednesday night for youth, for our middle and high school students. We also, maybe you're a little intimidated by being in a classroom with kids. We've got awesome check-in and check-out opportunities where you can still be involved in our kids' ministry, but not so much teaching a classroom. So don't let that, um, or maybe inexperience working with kids, stop you. We've got all sorts of opportunities to help with the next gen, that's for sure. That is awesome. Well, thank you, Alyssa. We're excited for next gen. You know, and, and we, you know, especially after the COVID, we've been such a growth of the youth getting back together, kids getting back together, and we really want to take the opportunity to invest in our young generation because we want them to be powerhouses for Jesus. So, Pastor Lisa does an awesome job with the team. So, if you have, again, if you have a heart for youth, please sign up. Thanks. So, all right. So next we have one of the cool things if you've been to New City in our services is our worship team. Our worship team is dynamite. You know, they get up every every Sunday. They, whether you play instruments or sing, they do such a phenomenal job in getting us off, off you know, off our, our, our uh, seats and just celebrate Jesus. So these guys are going to tell us about uh, the worship team here and what kind of volunteers. So I can't sing. Can I join the choir? I can't sing. <laughs> you have other Look at that. Look at that. I can play the cowbell. Hey, we <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, tell us about the worship team. So we actually have well, about three different positions in the worship team. Worship team. We have worship team singers. We've got choir singers, and we've got musicians. Um, we actually prefer that everybody start off with choir, so that they can learn the importance of three-part harmony, how that works. Um, that is, anybody can join the choir pretty much. Um, for worship team, it is a short audition. Um, pretty impersonal, but we do want to make sure that you're able to um, sing and play with everybody and hold your own. And then with musicians on as well, it's a small audition. We are definitely looking to expand uh, as far as musicians. Even though we already have musicians, we more volunteers. Awesome. Thanks, Daryl. So if you if you have a gift of playing instrument or love to sing for Jesus, uh, please sign up. And 
Are you gonna, are you gonna sing for us real quick? I have nothing. <laughs> I got off guard. <laughs> she has a great singing voice and she helps with the choir. That's awesome. So thanks you guys. All right. So we have the technology team as led by Tim Wolf and he's not here right now because he's probably uh, working to get our next service ready. So more so now, especially when we were uh, in quarantine going through the COVID, we rely more on our, our technology team to uh, to live stream our services. And Tim Wolf and his team uh, kind of uh, worked really hard to make sure you get good quality online service uh, if you're watching from home. But they also support the auto engineer, the sound mixer in the service, and with the sound technicians, and as well as the media team. So, Craig, are you going to talk uh, about the, sure, the technology can, team since uh, Tom's not here? I can talk about it. So we, we need people that um, can, can be a part of, uh, of all that Edwin was saying, but um, some of it too, uh, he could use some help with uh, the IT part of it. Um, so the networks that we have here at the church and, and things like that. So um, all of that was correct, and, and, and there's lots of different areas that we can we can use help in that, in that too. So. Thanks, Greg. Yep. And Craig, you're also over the communication team, right? Yes. So so tell us more about this, the communication team. Yeah, this is my area. Uh, we have all sorts of positions, and since we're kind of a brand new ministry, uh, we have all positions open. Um, so what what we've done is we've created a, a, a uh, an assessment that you can take, and you can actually get in there, and they can they can snap that on their phone, open up your camera app, and you can go ahead and. Um, scan that and it'll take you to an assess ex assessment that um, will help you find what type of position is best for you. We have task oriented positions. Um, that would be more more so like um, on your own type, type positions um, and then on the back there's creative positions so that would be more like graphic designer, webmaster, copy editor, photographer, things like that. Uh, and then a people-oriented positions, which would be kind of in front of cameras and things like that. So, um, so once you take that assessment, it'll give you kind of what what type of area you'd be good at, and you can pick a pick something from there and sign up from there. Right. So, so Craig, tell us really quick. I've been reminding the folks watching this that at the end of this video, there's an opportunity for them to click on the different ministry we're getting involved with. Right, so, so in the description of the video, you'll have a link that you can click to fill out the online form. Uh, you can also go to the events tab in the website or the app, and that'll have that same thing. And it might even be on the, up here in the, in the video right now. <laughs> so, there, you, there you go. That's how much time I have to make it. There you go. So I know my, uh, my wife tells me uh, communication is not my strength, so can I call you if I, uh, you know, I need to learn to have that communication? So, no experience required. We will teach you anything that needs to be done, and, uh, and we'll, we'll make sure you have the software and anything that you need to do. So, if you are interested at all in being a video editor, anything that, you, that, that we do, we will take care of, of training you. Yep. Sure you have That's everything. awesome. Thanks, Fred. And you know, I always have a heart for the, the next gen. If you're a youth that loves to edit videos or get involved with multimedia, you know, we want you know you to sign up as well because this mystery fair is open to all different ages. We just want people to get involved. And Craig, we're not done with you yet. No, no, I got one more. Awesome. So facilities is the other thing that I uh, take care of. Some keys. Yeah, for keys facilities. For facilities. So uh, we we are looking for anybody that can clean to um, carpenters to drywallers, uh, electrical plumbers. Um, anything like that. So if, if, if that's something that you have a strong suit in, we'd love to have you as part of the team and that could just be a, we have a project for you. And it doesn't have to be an ongoing thing, but, but if it's something that you want to do ongoing, we can certainly do that as well. So if you have any of those skills, we'd love to have you as part of that so we can contact you and, and, and in case we need you. Awesome. Thanks, Thank you. Don't never get back in that department again. Sign up if you're interested in facilities. So next, we have two different ministries here. We have the prayer ministry that um, Erica Nark is in charge of, but Erica couldn't be with us today, so Sharon's going to go ahead and speak about the prayer ministry. Now, prayer is important at New City uh, because it's important for us to pray for our, our church, for one another, as well as for our city and nation. So, hey Sharon, how you doing? Hi guys, Edwin pretty much wrapped it up. Um, First Thessalonians 5, 17, pray without ceasing. That's and good. when we do this in our services, we pray um, 
with the Rock Center, we have prayer walks, so many great ways to get involved with prayer. So please sign up, um, reach out to Erica, she'd be happy to have you as part of the team. Awesome. And next is the marriage ministry. Yes, so over our marriage ministry is Kelly Wynn. And right now she has a need for marriage of mentors. And this is post-marriage and for premarital counseling. So if you have a heart and desire um, to mentor and just counsel and just encourage and edify our married couples and those um, new ones, newlyweds and engaged couples, um, we have so many areas for you. I myself am part of the team and it is a really important. So please reach out to Kelly Wynn if marriage ministry is on your heart. Awesome. Thank you, Sharon. We also appreciate it. So, I hope you enjoy the tour here of our ministry fair. As you can see, there's a lot of people in here, a lot of people involved with different ministries at New City. And we just want people to volunteer and sign up. So, again, just want to remind you that if you're interested in any of the ministries, uh, go ahead and sign up the link after this video. Again, you don't have to commit to anything at this point. We want you to feel comfortable and help find your giftings and our calling through those different ministries. So, again, hey, thanks for joining us. Thanks for spending the, the last 20 minutes with us as we went to the different ministry fair. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Take care. Bye.